Yes, yes, yes. This is another episode of Wake Up and Smell the Fucking Coffee. Mm-hmm. This time. Ah, good coffee. But you ain't gonna see my face because I'm not pretty this morning. I gotta shave, okay? Wake up and smell the fucking coffee. Oh, you saw the hand, huh? <laughs> You saw the hand of a white lady, huh? You wanna think it was my woman. You never know a shit motherfucker. But anyway. Mm-hmm. Wake up and smell the coffee. That's it right there. The gravy see? Oh, I'm eating good in three then, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Eating good in three then. Now look at my fucking face now. Oh, I the face now. How they can see me? Oh, okay. Fuck him then. But anyway, I'm in Brazil. And shit. 300 million fucking people in Brazil, man. Wake up and smell the fucking coffee. And I tell you that shit. While I'm in Brazil, the motherfucker, these motherfuckers try to kill me in Brazil. Yes, 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 motherfucker, they did that. Try to kill me in fucking Brazil. You know what that motherfucker? You shouldn't do that, you little fucking bunch of fucking bitches try to kill me in Brazil. That's what you fucking do. Kick me out of your fucking house. Yeah, 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 they kicked me out of their fucking house and have me walk in the street of fucking Brazil. I gotta call Mr. Olivier Chaston from VP Records. He plays his credit card from Queens, New York to Piracy Carba, Brazil and have me in the uh, National Hotel, room 1008. Mm -hmm. The first fucking three, four months, the bill was about 6,000 reals, about 3,000 US fucking dollars. The fucking little bitch told me that mouth. We can't pay no fucking, uh, we can't pay no, no hotel bill for you. She really can't pay about half of it. I said, okay, you pay half, give me my royalty. The guy said, man, we ain't got no royalties to you. But I said, the last time you gave me some royalties, you gave me 13,000 fucking US dollars. Mm -hmm. But because... The motherfuckers them called VP Records and said that that nigga he come out, you don't give him shit. So my manager is calling over there, the lawyers calling over there, and everybody called him and said don't give he come out no shit. And we have text messages where Mr. Philippe is a little fucking bitch, he's in prison for, for cocaine now. Yeah, my own lawyer. Can you imagine? He's in prison for cocaine distribution. And the manager, Gary Fogner, sent him a fucking text. In VP Records, and said, Don't give me come on shit. And a fucking bitch named Barbara White, aka Barbara White Crow, aka Barbara Crow. A fucking bitch, she looks so classy, but the slut was fucking trashy. Biracial, half black, half fucking white. Never knew her father, but she loved a Russian man who got deported. So now she decided to kill fucking niggas. We're gonna talk about that bitch who decided to what? <laughs> Change my fucking shit so she can sign her shit and got me deported. But then again, motherfucker, we're gonna talk about all these motherfuckers who try to fuck up you come out. Yeah, you saw the beautiful white lady, motherfucker. You ain't gonna see her face, motherfucker. Cause she's Swedish, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, she's Swedish. She's a motherfucking Viking warrior. Oh, yes, motherfucker. You see now, motherfucker, you understand that kind of shit? Now we're gonna go back to all these motherfuckers. Who called Mr. Olivier Chastan, who was the fucking chief accountant at the fucking uh, VP record. Now that and was there, 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 the fucking president of VP record. Did fuck me the fuck up. Now that motherfucker, this fuck me come on. You're gonna wake up and smell the coffee, 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 cup on the top. A lot of fucking shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now watching me sipping this fucking coffee. Oh, I need a shave, it'll pretty. Bang ding ding, motherfucker. Yeah.